You'll be surprised to know how extremely easy it is to get started with React Native. There are two main ways for you to create a new React Native project. The first is from the official documentation of React Native. Here we are in the official documentation. In front of you, you see two options. One is a quick start and one is the building projects with native code. What we're interested in is the quick start. The quick start will ask you to install the create React Native app module using the node package manager. This will require you to have node installed on your machine. In case you do not have node installed, you can click on this link over here, which will take you to the official website of node where you can install the node for your particular operating system. Once create React Native app is installed, you can easily create your React app and then test it out on Expo. So this is the first way of creating your app. You type in this line of code here to install the create react native app module and then you can use that create react react native app module to create a new project however the second and even easier way is to first download the expo client from the expo website so here we are on the expo website you can just click on the download our tools button and download the client for your particular operating system the expo client is an all-in-one solution for creating react native apps and this is what we will use for the rest of the tutorial. You will require minimal access to the terminal and most of the time you won't even require to access it. Everything can be done from this in the UI interface of Expo. So I already have Expo installed. So let's open up Expo. As you can see, Expo has an extremely clean interface. We have an option to either create a new project or open an existing one. So let's start by creating a new project. Let's just call it my new project, which is the default name and let's click create and let Expo do its magic. It's going to download the required project files and create your react native package for you to use directly out of the box. No command line tools required and it can be directly done on the simulator or your real device. So there we have it, the project has been downloaded and created. All we need to do here is click on device and click on open on iOS simulator. Most of the people on a Mac will have Xcode installed and that's where it gets the simulator that it's trying to use from here. There we see the option of open and expose in front of us. The first time your app opens up, it will give you a welcome to Expo message and it will tell you the things you can do. You have an option to refresh, copy the link, go to the Expo home, reload, disable live reload, show performance monitor, toggle the element expector and debug remote JavaScript, which is an exceptional feature which we'll dig into later. As of now, we just click on got it. And there it is. We have our first React Native app running on our iOS simulator. For those of you who want to try it directly on your phone, you can just click on this share button here, download the Expo app on your iOS or Android device, and you can directly just scan the QR code and the app will display live onto your phone. I know I did say that you would not need to use Xcode or Android Studio, but just for the simulators, you do need to have them both installed. For those of you wanting to test out your app on Android, just make sure that when you come into Android Studio, you have a particular type of simulator installed. Basically in the AVD manager, what you need to make sure is that the Android device that you install has here the Google APIs installed with it. These are important for React Native to work as there are times in which it does create a problem on devices that do not have the Google APIs installed. That's all. Once you have that set up, you can start the AVD from here and then you can go into device and run on Android. So now that we have the uh, app created, we're going to open up the app folder in our editor of choice. In my case, that editor is going to be Visual Studio Code. Here we have this editor. It's a beautiful editor. Go to the name of the project, which we called my new project and click on open. 
As you can see, these files have opened up over here, and we have one file over here, which is the app.js file, which we are concerned about right now. In the app.js, you can see the code that's displayed on the simulator is typed over here. We can just get rid of that code and just type hello. And I just saved the file over here. As you see, when I save the file over here, it's creating an update over here. There you can see that the text is updated. That's how simple it is to get up and running with Expo and React. Next, we'll dig into React Native and start building our first project.